Hi, and welcome to The Rave TV. I'm Linda Kay here with America's favorite party band, Dropkick Murphys. Thank you for having us. How you doing? Thank you, guys. Want to introduce yourselves? I'm James Lynch. I play guitar. I'm Tim Brennan. I also play guitar and a couple other things. Nice. <laughs> so how is this year's All Roads Lead to Boston tour going so far? Uh, having a blast. The only scary part is actually getting back to Boston and dealing with uh, the seven days of madness we have going on there. Yeah, it's been good. All the shows have been good and everything. Um, we had a nice day off in Montana where we got to see some mountains. That was about it. <laughs> uh, but uh, everything's been going well. So, like James said, we're just waiting to get to Boston at this point, I guess. <laughs> All right, so what is it about the Boston music scene and about the city itself? So many great bands have come out of Boston, including yourselves, of course. Uh, we're just terribly cool people. Right. Or people with nothing better to do. <laughs> I think the general bad attitude comes from the weather, and uh, that translates into good rock and roll, apparently. Right. Sound of great music, and you guys as well. <laughs> okay, so at the end of your shows, you guys have like a thousand people on stage with you guys. Like, how did that come about? Uh, it didn't start off as anything intentional. That's just the way the shows were uh, when the band started uh, at the old Rathskeller in Boston, and it's something that we've kept with us. Uh, just one of them things. Some nights I would love for it not to happen. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but it, uh, yeah, every night the last song, um, pretty much anyone who wants to comes up on stage. And um, I don't know. I mean, it's fun to have everybody up there. But as James said, sometimes every once in a while it gets a little crowded and you're afraid all your stuff's going to go over. But, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a pretty good time getting everybody up there. It's sort of a controlled chaos, you know. It's also nice if you didn't exactly have the best night, because uh, the kids don't care once they get up there. They just go <laughs> home saying, I was on stage yeah. with the drive kids. <laughs> have you guys had any major problems with any of that? Yes. Uh, people steal shit and everything. but uh, Steal stuff, people knock stuff over. We've had like all the amps go over and everything like that, you know? But uh, it's all part of it, I guess. As long as no one gets seriously hurt, right? No. Right. What are you going to do? <laughs> <laughs> So uh, after making music together for over a decade now, doing so many shows, which one is your favorite and why? Is there something that really stands out about any of the shows? It all kind of turns into a blur after a while. Uh, I, do, I do always remember coming to the rave. Every time we come here, something interesting happens. That's true. That's absolutely true. Be it our friend Fitzy falling in the pool downstairs and right. cracking his skull open. <laughs> <laughs> we can laugh about it now. It's a, oh, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> I was going to mention those, that you guys have been doing shows here at the Raves since 98. So, have you besides that story, um, any other specific stories or um, any chance of uh, exploring the building yet? That's our pretty big one, is uh, a couple of our friends went to explore the building. Two of them went to leave to get a flashlight, and there was one left down there, and he fell in the deep end of the pool. He was by himself. And uh, our friends came back and put a light in the pool looking for our buddy Fitzy and he was at the bottom of the pool just completely unconscious. Uh, I don't know if that's why it is so well lit today but I was down there earlier <laughs> and uh, I don't think you could fall in that thing if you tried it. No, there. no. Well lit and locked up tight. <laughs> I think we ruined that for everybody. Well, we do love you here at the rave so keep coming back. And uh, always. We love it here too. Yeah. Awesome. Alright, so what is next for you guys? When are we going to see the next album? Uh, we're working on it right now. Well, not right now. But uh, yeah, we're sitting here at the rave. Uh, we're uh, we're starting to write some new songs. We're doing, um, I think, all the shows for this upcoming St. Patrick's Day run are going to be recorded for, hopefully, like a DVD and a live record. And then after that, we'll go into the studio proper, and um, maybe uh, hopefully have a new record out by next St. Patrick's Day. So probably a year from now, hopefully. Plenty in the works. Yes. Cool. All right. Thank you guys for hanging out with us tonight. Definitely looking forward to the show as well as all the fans coming tonight. And good luck on the rest of the tour on your way back to Boston. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks for much. having us. All right. Thank you for watching the Rave TV. Make sure to check out Dropkick Murphys and their latest album, The Meanest of Times. I'm Linda Kay. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time.